on a scale from one to 10, 10 being excellent, how have you been dealing with the pandemic? I'd say eight. What's the first step you'll take to curb crime in Hillsborough County? Reorganize the agency where the uh, deputies are actually uh, more in charge of what they do on a daily basis. What's your favorite food? Um, chicken. Do you cook? Yeah, uh, air fryer and uh, Instapot, I rock them. That's the way to do it. That's the easiest, <laughs> cleanest way to do it, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I love it. What does the Black Lives Matter movement mean to you? Uh, locally, it means that uh, it's all about the voice. They want to be heard. Uh, nationally, I, I don't agree with a lot of their politics, but locally, I believe their voices want to be heard and I want to hear them. What's the one thing people don't know about your career? It was a lot of hard work because I was, uh, I didn't have a college degree, so I did the, did the work and really couldn't get promoted other than make corporal maybe. Uh, when I started, all you needed was a high school diploma. Then after that, they wanted military or 60 credit hours and so on and so forth. But, you know, just because you're college educated doesn't make you the right person for that job. Next question. Who is your favorite musical artist? All times probably Garth Brooks. Streaming music or vinyl records? I stream all my music. Defund the police or restructure the police? Restructure the police. There's a lot of things that law enforcement does while they're carrying their gun that other agencies could do a lot better. Um, law enforcement should be law enforcement and uh, fight crime and not, you know, uh, wash puppies, basically. What are your hobbies? Uh, I really don't have any other than campaigning, but when I slow down, I like to fish. It's just kind of, you can do it without thinking. Racial injustice in America, how can we fix it? Um, through diversity, I believe, would be the best way to do it so that everybody's included. Inclusiveness is, uh, is the key. Yes or no? Mandatory body cams for police officers? Yes. How to end police brutality? My way is to get more officers to actually speak out against their fellow employees and say that, you know, when something's wrong. You know, that's the reason I'm huge on unionization and law enforcement. And the reason I am, people, people actually say, well, why would you want to unionize cops? You'll keep bad cops. No, you'll actually keep good cops that can actually say when bad things are going on. I didn't start my career to be a bad cop or to want to hide things. Favorite movie? Hell or high water, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's about bank robberies, so. <laughs> All right, which leads me to the next question. Do you watch crime shows? Yeah, yes, but not uh, more crime movies than crime like uh, episodes. Just because some of it's so made up, it just, after doing the job for so long, you're like, oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. What steps needs to be taken to culturally diversify the police department? Again, inclusiveness. You, you need to hire based on um, diversity. You need to have a diverse policy for hiring people. What's the deal with the donuts and police officers? I actually don't eat, never ate a lot of donuts when I was on duty, but I would go to Dunkin' Donuts all the time for the coffee. But you know where that comes from is for uh, years ago, that was the only thing open many, many, many years ago in law enforcement overnight was donut shops. So people just kind of said, oh, every time I find a cop, they're in a donut shop. Favorite podcast? I don't even listen to podcasts. Favorite book? Um, I really don't read a lot of books. <laughs> I'm boring. Let me take a nap. No, no, that's fine. And last question. Good cop versus bad cop. Not all cops are bad, are they? No, absolutely not. And you know what's interesting about good cop versus bad cop? When you see a bad cop, you'll see him joined by bad cops. There, there isn't a bad cop in a group of good cops because those good cops will tell that bad cop to go away. So even when I was in law enforcement, what I would do is I would hang out with people that were doing the right thing for the right reasons and I knew always had my back. Now bad cops will say, hey, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do something unethical you cool with that? And then all of a sudden they're cool with that. You know, the Tampa Police Department just fired, what, six people or had six issues with that because they were all grouped together. So 
And, that, and that's what we need to weed out in law enforcement because that's what everyone sees. That's what the media reports on is, hey, look, I could, I could save six people in this park and, and you could film the whole thing, but I could do one bad thing to one person. That's what's going to hit the news. I ran for uh, sheriff in 2018 as well, whether or not you're aware of that. But what made me ultimately run even in 2018 was from a position I had with the Tampa Police Department, which was the uh, environmental crimes detective. Well, doing that job as the environmental crimes detective, I learned that we as a police department don't truly service our community like we should and thought I can, I can do better as an administrator over a large agency and get my people to actually work for the citizens once again as opposed to really what we've been doing now is kind of just doing the job. And how long have you been in law enforcement? I retired 25 years from the City of Tampa Police Department. I started in 1990 and retired in 2015.